Yo, what is going on you guys? It's Andrew back with another video. It's fleece season, boys. It's back. We're back to being cozy. I'm so excited. I haven't left the house. So it's been a little while. The hair's grown a little bit. You might catch that uh, to gauge how long uh, it's been since I last recorded a video. There's been a handful of pickups I've been making this year. Most of them have been Nikes. Handful of them have been New Balances. I wanted to make this video and just let you guys know what I've been buying recently, talk about some of the shoes that have been really catching my attention, and um, let's just jump right into it. One of my favorite pickups this year so far has to be this Plum 992 New Balance. Um, I picked these up when I was down in Cincinnati at Unheard Of. At the store, I went to the place uh, where I've been ordering shoes all year and I actually bought something from them because of course it's what I do every time I go to unheard of I have to buy a new pair of shoes. It's the 992 in plum which is like a purple colorway hits of gray white black of course the reflective New Balance logo right there on the side there uh, absolutely comfortable shoe the year of the 992 is upon us 2020 has been an amazing year for New Balance and their collaborations uh, this is not a collaboration though this is just an inline model which I think is awesome you know they make uh, some great made in the USA GRs general releases for those of you who are unfamiliar with the term not every collab has to be uh, sneaker of the year or pickup of the year in my opinion I think New Balance makes some great shoes and I love New Balance sneakers like these the made in the USA 992s um, really fantastic colorway in my opinion. The guys that unheard of didn't have my size of a different New Balance I was looking for, but they had my size in this one, and so I was really glad I got these. Uh, for those of you who may be wondering about fitment, go a half size down. These are an eight. I usually wear an eight and a half in like Jordan Retros, Air Maxes. New Balances I think fit best when they're a half size down because they have a wider uh, fit. So if you have a wider foot like myself, um, go half size down. New Balance 992. One of my favorites of this year so far. Getting into another one, you may have noticed if you have uh, sharp eyes, uh, your boy got lucky on the Union 4s. So this is the Guava colorway. I picked these up on release day from Union Direct. Um, not Union Direct, but like directly from Union's website. You guys have the, uh, the Union logo, uh, un Union tagging on the side there. Uh, crazy color scheme, crazy material choices. You got mesh, you got uh, the folded down. Jordan tongue, which I'm going to leave folded down for right now. I'm going to leave these dead stock. I don't know for sure if I'm actually going to wear them. Uh, truth be told, I really don't want to resell them, but the prices just go up on these, and I really want the black ones. If I can get the black ones, I think I'll get rid of these, but I really want the black ones. This was really awesome. This was a great moment for me, uh, getting lucky on the uh, Union Jordan 4s. It was a great victory uh, in this world of sneaker losses that we've been taking all damn year for the last couple of years. <clears throat> Getting into uh, a shoe I forgot I had, actually. This is not a new pickup. This is just one that I just finally decided to break out of, of, the, uh, of the vault. Let me reduce this lighting real quick so you guys can take a closer look. Hot Lava Air Tech Challenge 2. I picked these up last year from Foot Locker when I picked up the uh, Greek Freak Zoom 1s. Um, I saw these were on the shelf. I saw the Zoom Freak 1s were on the shelf. They were both my size, and I said, let me get both of those. Just randomly walked into the mall. Now, you knew this was coming. You knew this was coming. This is not the Air Max 90. This is the Air Max 3, baby. And this is one of the best colorways of the Air Max 90 of all time. So this is the laser blue Air Max 90 uh, 2020 release. Um, very incredible shoe in my opinion. I've actually worn this a ton since I got it. Uh, the shape of the shoe is very similar and the material choices and even the tags are very similar to the original Air Max 90 or Air Max 3 as the label will have you say. Uh, absolutely fantastic shoe. I've actually got some dirt on the laces already, which is not uh, that uncommon because I like to wear my shoes a lot. You can see some smudging on the back heel if you look close enough, but absolutely fantastic shoe. I love this. And they're coming out with the infrareds. The infrareds are finally coming back. I just got word. I just found the news. has The news is broken. They're releasing in Tokyo first, and then they're going to release in the U.S. I need three pairs of those minimum. I really love the laser blues, and um, I actually have a couple of unboxings here, so we're going to go with this one first, because when I tell you I like a shoe, it's not uncommon for me to want to go ahead and double up on that shoe. When I say I need three pairs of the Air Max 90 infrareds, I mean it. I absolutely mean it. And so, not that hard to believe that your boy went out and picked himself up from StockX, no less, for under retail. Another pair 
of the Laser Blues, brand new from StockX, because StockX had them for under retail. And you know what? I like under retail. You know this. If you've been following the channel at all, you know I like to find deals. I like to find steals. I gotta put these back in the box nicely because these, so these are gonna be on ice for a while until those actually kick the can. Because I love me some Air Max 90s. And now I'm getting a little bit less crazy with the unboxing part. Let me show you guys another pair that I picked up on StockX for under retail before they released. And another shoe that I actually doubled up on because I got I got them on the sneakers drop just the other day. This right here is a shoe I've been waiting for them to come back with this shoe for a long time. And of course it's a Nike shoe. Of course it's a Nike shoe. You know it's going to be a Nike shoe. This is one I've been waiting for for a little while. I'm glad I doubled up. So what we've got here is the Air Raid OG, the re-release of the Air Raid, the first one of the first Nike basketball sneakers that was for outdoor use only. You're in the park shooting threes. Your jump shot looks like trash. It's always going to look like trash. But you're wearing these and you're killing it. You feel like you're killing it. Guys, this is honestly one of my favorite uh, uh, Nike basketball sneakers of all time. Right up there with the Air Up Tempo 2. Right, this is the season of fleece jackets and bulky Nike retro basketball sneakers. So just to tone down the lighting a little bit, you can see the stock X, you can see the stock X tag hanging there. Matter of fact, before I forget, let me just show you what you do with your stock X tags. You uh, cut them right off. Get that shit out of here. You don't need it. You don't need it. Take the stock X tags off before you wear the shoe. Take a good long look at one of the best sneakers Nike's ever put on an outdoor basketball court. Uh, the Air Raid is uh, fantastic. It's got these cross lace straps right there you can see um, similar to the Jordan 8 you got that same back heel kind of like the Jordan 8 uh, you got the bulky bottoms kind of like the Jordan 8 it's very similar to the Jordan 8 but it's its own fantastic sneaker model and the Air Raid is one of my favorites I'm so glad they decided to bring it back um, in the OG colorway no less looking at it in person it's a little bit different than I remember um, but I'm very happy to have these, very happy to add them to the collection. And now I gotta put all this crap away. I'm really looking forward to wearing this. This is a great fall sneaker. And I just, I, you know me, I love the old Nikes. Can't get enough of them. That's enough for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, comment below what you guys think. If you guys are enjoying how long the hair is getting, let me know because it's not gonna stop growing. It's gonna keep going for a while. Let me know if you guys are as excited for the Infrared Air Max 90s as I am because I'm so, so very excited. Let me know if any of you got lucky on any of the multitude of Union 4 drops. Uh, if anyone has a, a pair of the Black Noirs for retail price, let me know. I will buy them. Um, but. If you guys got the guavas, let me know, because these are just these are just weird and, and so cool at the same time. I really like these a lot, um, but I really like the off-noirs a little bit more. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, hit that like button, comment below. And if you feel so inclined, go ahead and subscribe for more content. Until next time, this is Andrew signing off. Peace.